The range became a Chardonnay, a Shiraz, Cabernet, Merlot, Noble Riesling and Sparkling. Suddenly we had this amazing ability to make the very best we could across six different wines. And they were all wines that we were making, but we, we didn't have that sort of permission to make the absolute best of all of those varieties. So it was just, as a winemaker, it was just a fantastic opportunity to, to be told, okay, go and get the best fruit, the best oak, the best everything. Just pull out all the stops and make the absolute best you can of every single one of these varieties. One of the keys to the success of growing Patricia is really having the right vineyard with the right variety. There's a little bit of trial and error involved in sourcing Patricia and fruit. We can never be 100% certain walking into a vineyard that it's going to produce fruit of that grade. We have certain vineyards that generate it more often than not year in year out where we've been sourcing fruit for a long period of time but there's no hard and fast recipe. It's something that takes time to establish and we have some great long-term relationships with Patricia growers. I think when it comes to making the Patricia wines, there's nothing necessarily that's special or unique about our winemaking, but what we really do is make sure we do all the little things really well. Um, and that's really important. So. Uh, it's about attention to detail and it's about making sure that we get every process along the, the path right. The important thing in the winery is that you've, um, you look after the grapes when they come in uh, as expertly as possible. So we, um, we make use of the kindergarten winery quite a bit. Uh, we have a small dedicated team of cellar hands in here that look after the, the grapes once they're crushed. Um, they're made in sort of small, small fermenters, uh, lots of attention to detail. We select uh, best parcels of oak that the, the wines, particularly red wines obviously sit in for 12 to 18 months. We select the best coopers we can. Actually putting a Patricia wine together takes quite a period of time. So the winemaking team work while we have one particular winemaker as the custodian for a particular product. Um, we work as a group um, and we're really looking at um, a whole range of wines and a whole range of blend options over a significant period of time before we even put something up as a recommendation to bottle. Uh, when we go into the competitor tasting program, we're not necessarily looking to emulate a particular um, competitor or, or match a style. Um, we're looking to produce the best wine we can from the fruit sources we have, but we're looking to benchmark the relative qualities of the wines. So other products on the market that are doing particularly well, um, that are selling strongly or have received a lot of third party endorsement and we're looking to see how our wine sits in relative to quality under blind tasting conditions. So by the time we actually look to release these wines when they've matured in bottle, they've been through the wine show system, we've had regular tastings of them, we're fairly confident um, that we understand the quality of the wine and the wine's potential as a Patricia release. Um, it's obviously a, a challenging sort of process to go in there knowing that um, it, it is a blind tasting and, and we don't know what our wines are and what the competitive wines actually are. Um, but it's always uh, quite a rewarding sort of experience and it's a rigorous process to assess the wine's quality. We had Patricia on our 30th wedding anniversary. Um, that's a pretty significant occasion I think. So it's anything from special to ordinary but special. <laughs>